Welcome to video eight of Low Brunner, and um, and this video we're gonna kind of discuss as the uh, you know the overall concepts of Low Brunner, how it works, how we're gonna get started, and that kind of stuff. But before we can actually go ahead and um, you know jump right into Low Brunner, we first need to understand. Uh, a couple of things now you're probably going oh gosh no not not again not more theory oh my god how many theories is this guy going to talk about <laughs> well i'll tell you one thing though if you want to understand the whole process of load runner you need to actually understand the um the theory behind it you need to know the theory behind it for you to be able to uh, get this thing going right so um with load runner and understanding load runner um, terminology, we kind of need to understand a couple of things, right? Uh, so the first thing is, uh, what is load runner components? Now, in every single program, you have specific components, and we're going to kind of chat about what are the different components available um, uh, for load runner. And as you know, every single testing um, program out there has got different. Um, has got different um, components out there uh, and got different terminology that they're referencing uh, to. So we need to know and understand the different terminologies out there uh, for a low runner to actually, uh, you know, get this thing going. So um, the first thing that we're going to look at is what they call, um, they call it, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it for you out there, it says virtual user generator or VUGen. Okay, so what is the virtual user generator? Now, this component of virtual user generator or VUGen captures the end user business process um, and all, so it captures the process and creates an automated performance testing script, okay? Also known as the user script. Okay, so when we talk about the user script, it will actually be the um, it will be the end user business process that the virtual user generator captures. So that is the the user script. The other thing is a controller. What is a controller? So the controller organizes, drives, manages, and monitors uh, the load. That is what um, the controller does. So let's recap. The controller organizes, drives, and manages, and monitor the load test. Remember, we're doing load tests. Remember all those different testings, spike tests, and all that kind of stuff? So we're talking about load tests right here. So uh, we know now that controller is uh, that organizes all the stuff. So what is analyst? Analyst is, is helps you view, dissect, and compare the results of the low tests. So you're going to do a couple of low tests, right? And um, it will be able to uh, help you view, dissect, and compare the results of the um, of all the low tests that you've done. So you, you get uh, three programs for that. You get controller, um, which we're going to work with. So it's controller, virtual user generator, and analysis. Okay, so that is what Load Runner consists of. So let's talk about the last one, and the last one is ro uh, Load Generators. Now, Load Generators, computers, so Load Generators in essence are computers that run the users to generate load on a system. Now, what is the users again? The users, um, also known as the user script, is the virtual user generated um, captures an end user business process that's created on the automated performance testing script. So load generator computers that run the V users. Okay, so that is the difference between uh, the, the basic load runner components out there. So that was load runner components, and we need to understand that. And we'll, you know, as we go on on the videos, we will understand and get more um, familiarized with those kind of stuff. So let's let's chat about uh, load runner terminology because that's another thing that is important. Not only is uh, you know the components important of a program, but the terminology is 
uh, just as important because uh, if you don't understand the terminology uh, of the um, you know of the whole program then it's not going to work right so um, that is quite important uh, so com uh, components we've covered right and um, so the next thing <laughs> is terminology terminology I love to I tell you why I love terminology because you know there's a lot of terminologies out there there's a lot of programs with their own terminologies so let's jump into it so the third thing um, is scenario so I want you to think for a second I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to think what is scenario okay <laughs> did I give you some time to think <laughs> so a scenario defines the event that occurs during a test session okay putting emphasis on session based on the performance requirements okay so what happens you run up the program you go okay this is my requirements I want to test this go okay that's the scenario it defines the event that occurs during the testing okay in a scenario load runner replaces human users with virtual users or V users and I'm gonna go and get my pen again V users oh, that is horrible wait Let's redo that. Uh, get my eraser out. Get that out. Okay, let's try that again. That's better. Okay, so uh, in a scenario, okay, low runner replaces human users with virtual users or V users. V users emulate the actions of a human users working on the system. Now remember that we, you know when we got back to uh, you remember the load testing, spike testing, soak testing, uh, all those kind of component testing, isolate testing. Did you think that humans going to do that? No, it's not. You know we have uh, computer, we have programs like Load Runner that's going to do it for us. So uh, when we talk about uh, V users, we normally refer to um, you know human like. Or you can even call it bots, right? If you, if you are uh, a, a gaming fanatic, it's a similar thing like bots. So we've got, I'm going to call it bots or V users that, you know, does the same thing. So that is V users. Now, the next thing is V user script that you also need to understand is uh, the actions that a V user performs during a scenario, right? How are we going to measure that? How are we going to measure the, the, the actions that the V user, the human, the, the, the bot took uh, during the scenario. Okay, remember what a scenario is, guys? Scenario is the actual testing that's taking place. Okay, so I'm just going to go and write there in very ugly wording, test. Okay, so that is scenario. So we know now that, you know, the, the, the fake people or the fake... Um, or the, the, the virtual users or the virtual humans are called V users and we know now that the actions that a V user performs during a scenario is called V user script okay and that's a terminology which is very important in load runner and very important that you need to understand so to measure the performance of a system okay you define transactions that's why I wrote there transaction so it says a transaction represents one or more end user business processes. Okay, so a transaction is able you to measure how long it takes to perform these business processes. So it's all about transaction representing one or more user business process. Do you understand that? Do you see where I'm getting at with the whole transaction thing? So that's with, with transactions. That's what it's all about. Okay, so that is that term, that's transaction terminology. So <laughs> each U, sorry that each V user script is based on a protocol. Okay, so each script is based on a certain protocol. Um, a protocol is a method of communication in between uh, the client and the server. Okay, now understand, don't get confused about client and server here. It's just um, it's basically between the program and the actual testing of the program so it's client and server okay 
So in the case of a website, the client will be you. Okay, the client will be the browser. The client will be the the use co your computer and the server, of course, the server server or the domain or the main server, that kind of stuff. So it's a, it's a, it's a very ambiguous way to say client and server, but I want you to understand the basics behind it. So let's re, re, uh, recopriate or re, uh, you know, let's recope. Um, what is a protocol again? So protocol is, um, it is each view user script is based on a protocol. A protocol is a method of communication between the client and the server. So I am going and just saying that very fast. <laughs> so protocol is the way that a script runs. It's based, a script is based on a protocol. Okay. Last one is script footprint. What is script footprint? I'm going to go and highlight that as well. I'm hoping I'm going to do it nicely this time. There we go. Okay. So a script footprint of a view user script. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that, sorry. The script footprint of a V user script is defined by the quantities of various resources that are required on a load generator in order to execute the V user script. So the V user script um, has got a footprint and is defined, and this footprint is defined by uh, quantities of various resources um, that are required with the load generation in order to execute the script. Typical resources include memory, CPU, power, that kind of stuff. So the footprint, um, you know, kind of defines what we're going to use. Okay. So that was basically, um, in essence, what terminology was in, um, you know, in load runner. So let's just quickly chat about the load testing process of load runner and um, the low, you know, the whole thing that we do. So load runner uh, testing with, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm talking so fast <laughs> that I'm confusing myself. So load testing with load runner typically consists of five phases, right? Planning, script creation, Scenario, definition, scenario execution, and result analyst. I'm going to repeat that. It's very important. And if you have a piece of paper, write it down. The five phases are planning, script creation, scenario, definition, scenario execution, and result analyst. Okay, number one, plan the load test. Right here, right here, right here. Okay, plan the load test. Now, when we talk about plan the load test or planning the load test, we say define. It's all about defining your performance testing requirements. For example, let me give you a good example. Concurrent users. Okay. So the number of concurrent users are going to go on the uh let's say website or on the test um the typical business processes and the required response times so how many bro business processes are going to take place um how many required response times do we need okay so that's plan the load test the second step is create the user uh scripts guys what does v user stand for again now let's think let's think <laughs> virtual user okay that is your v user is your virtual user it's a human user okay let's go back number two, okay so number two we said create v user script and um basically what we say we will create a v user script is uh, a v a use we use a v gen okay or we could, we use a VU gen and a VU gen is a virtual user generator. Okay. So we use a VU gen to capture the end user activities into an automated script. Okay. So that's the create of the user script. It just captures. Okay. And it puts it into an automated script. Um, then number 
three, we get the final scenario. Uh, then basically, as you use the controller to set up the low test environment, right? That's a low test environment is the define the scenario. And then run the scenario, which is uh, number four. Um, so we've got define the scenario. And define scenario is use the controller to set up the low test environment. And then run the scenario. That number four is use the controller uh, to drive, manage, and monitor the load. That is run the scenario, okay? And then number five, but not least, analyze the results. Now that we've got results, we're going to analyze it, right? So we're going to use Roadrunner, a Roadrunner analyst, Roadrunner analyst, to create graphs and reports and validate the system performance. And now we want a tool to kind of go, okay, this is what's happening. This is exactly how it's going to run. This is exactly the outcome. So we have uh, the analyst that's going to do that for us. So that's step five. So do you see how we've got um, the five steps to define how we're going to run the whole process? And um, we're going to use those five steps um, and load runner to get what we want. Okay. And in the following uh, video, we're going to start with the HP web tours where we're going to go and we're going to create um, a web server sample and we're going to go and, you know, start with the whole process of load runner. So, Remember, to recap of what we just spoke about, we spoke about components uh, where we have virtual user generator or VU gen. Uh, we've got controllers, analysts, and load generators. We have scenarios, V users, the user scripts, transactions, protocols, and we've got the script footprint. Okay, that's the terminology. And then we've got the steps that we will follow for doing the whole process. So that was looking at road, load runner. In the next video, as I said, we'll get down to it. That was load runner components.